Alrighty, let's take a look at question number four. In question four, we are presented with four tables and we are to determine which of this tabular representation of relations represents a function. Okay. All right. So to help us to solve this problem, we're going to take a look at a chart that helps us to determine if a given relation is a function or not. Okay, so here goes the little cheat sheet we have right here, a test for functions. If you want to access this table and other valuable formulas to help you with Algebra 1, you can always visit our website at mathgotserve.com to gain free access to uh, those resources. All right, so if you're given a table, uh, the test is you need to have no repetition in the x's. If you're given a graph, the graph has to pass the vertical line test, basically that graph should be in a, uh, in a way where when you run a vertical line through the entire graph, it cuts no more than once. Okay. Uh, y ha if you are given an equation, y has an odd power with no absolute value brackets. And then if you give a maps, each input is assigned to no more than one output. Okay. So these are the criteria to determine if um, a table graph equation or map of a relation is actually a function. Our focus for this particular question number four is the tabular representation, okay? And the trick here is you need to have no repetitions in the x's. Why is that? Well, by definition, a function assigns each input to exactly one output, no more than one output per input, right? If you have a repetition in the x's or the inputs, what's happening is that you're going to be assigning the same inputs to more than one output. And that is not a function. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the tables right here. We're going to focus our, our attention on the input side, the x column. Okay. Remember the uh, h of x, this is the output. Or the y and then the uh, x the independent variable is your input so that we're going to be focusing our attention on just the x columns all right so observe all the x columns in each of the options which one do you have a situation where there are no repetitions in the x's so let's take a look at number one option one uh, you have two repeated, so that automatically means this is not a function. Cross that out. Option two. Oh, there you go. Another two is repeated here. Uh, well, actually, that's option three. This is not a function. Not a function. Remember, we're looking for a situation where there are no repetitions. One, two, three, four. Oh, this looks perfect. This is a function. Why? Because each input is assigned to exactly one output. One is assigned to two and two alone. Two is assigned to four and four alone. Three is assigned to six and six alone. And four is assigned to two and two alone. Okay. So you don't have any input going to more than one output. Now let's take a look at option four just to sh reinforce that our answer is correct for as option two take a look at this oh repetitions with the threes so you have a situation where one input namely three is assigned to two different outputs two and six ladies and gentlemen that is not a function it doesn't harmonize with the definition of what a function is so our answer to question number four is Option number two.